Hello you vaginas full of mulched yams, Jim Sterling here, and this is Circa Infinite. Circa Infinity. Circa Infinity! Press start to begin. I don't know what the start button is on the keyboard, but we'll do that. Now it's a person. Okay. Right. So I've heard a lot of good things about this. I've just jumped in blind as I want to do. So I guess the aim is to get close to that. Can we go the other way around? Yes, we can. There we go. So you go down on the thing and then to that, and that's unique. Okay, I've heard it starts off fairly straightforward and then gets really quite trippy indeed. Uh, oh, there we are, that's... That made me do a lot of blinking with my eyes. Okay, so I guess that was the taster. So we got the basics down. It's left, right, jump. Circa Infinity, there we go. I'm ready to go Circa Infinity... Infinity... Okay. Is that a little dinkle in the middle? Has that person got a dirty little... It is, it's a dirty little chungus. Disgusting. Right. What the hell? It looks like some sort of villain. I guess we're to avoid that. I'm going to assume. Going to assume. Go around this way. Oh. Well done. I can see how the sudden change in directions and things could throw you off. Yeah, I heard about this from, uh, I was looking at Destructoids reviews. Uh, sometimes now and then I go check the old, the old stomping grounds just to see what they're doing. Ah, there we go. Again, I'm not, I'm assuming the devils are bad. But yeah, the review I saw, I saw them mention it. Uh, ben Pack, I think, wrote the review. In love with the thing. Oh, okay, well we've definitely confirmed. The devils are bad. Okay, come on. Oh shit. Oh shit, house. All right. Hang on, we can do this. There we go. Ha <laughs> I circled the shit out of that infinity. So yeah, very strong visual style, which is good. Very bold visual style. Um, the music is very nice. It's got that mobile setup. It's, it's something very, very um, unique to mobile games that has the home icon, the uh, circular refresh redo icon, and the arrow forward icon with a star, or in this case, skull rating system. I wonder what it is about mobile games. I guess because Ang uh, Angry Birds did it, and so it's codified it, the same way World of Warcraft did a lot of MMO things that have become classic to that. A uh, particular style of game. I hesitate to call it a genre. MMO is not a genre, uh, but thanks to things like World of Warcraft, people think it is. But that's another discussion for another time. Let's have another round of uh, the game, shall we? Okay, here we go. So it's all about being careful. There we go. Maybe being a bit too careful there. Come on, there we go. Ah, it threw me, I, I pressed the wrong fucking direction. Okay, no, that's fine. Come on, there we go. Now we're in the middle of these two fellas. Probably not the best idea. It's coming, it's coming. There we go. Okay, there we are. That that was fine. That was fine. Oh ho! Wow. Okay, this game's the shit. <laughs> this is the shit. Hang on, we could do this. Ah, fuck. I was getting into a nice flow there. I fucked it. Oh! Oh, oh. oh we went the wrong way round. Fuck it, we've committed. Whoa, there we go. I keep going the long way around. 
Okay, well, we've got no choice here. We're just going to have to wait. Uh, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love the way it zooms out like that. It's one skull. Not very, I'm not very good. Oh, well. I imagine it's very Mario-esque in that there's clearly, you could just whiz through it very in a very particular fashion but you know some people might end up not taking the risks to do it I'm, I'm, I'm a very hesitant gamer by nature so I struggle with it, it's why I'm terrible with sniper rifles in games because I'm I hesitate too much I never take the shot And that's a problem I'm having with this game, is not taking the shot. Although I took that one, and I felt better for it. Oh, I almost went too far there. There we go. And I, I knew, intellectually, I knew how I could have done that better, but I didn't. Fucked up. Now that's another part of the game, as, as you're playing it, it's like, you know exactly what you're doing wrong. And I can't help it. Oh no, that's not a rating. That's no deaths. That's the amount of deaths. Oh, so I don't know whether I'm good or bad. I mean, obviously I'm still probably not good. But fuck it, let's go. Come here. Should have gone the other way. Fuck it. Right, there we go. There we go. The enemy designs are uh, amusing. I like them. And you up. Bollocks. Oh. <laughs> Just stood there like a gormless tit. Okay. One. Yep, yeah, okay, that's good, that's good. Oh shit, I didn't mean to go so early. That's alright, there's nothing on the ground for us, it's just the flying ones. Not too bothered by the flying ones. They get in the way, but they're not an immediate danger like the little walkie devils. There we go, that's nice. That's good, everything's going just fine. Ooh. Ah, oh, there we go. Ho oh ho! You know what, I'll leave it there. I'm going to leave it before I embarrass myself too much. So far, that's uh, that's not too embarrassing. But that's Circa Infinity. Um, one of those games I'm going to cut short just because I feel like I don't need to show it off too much. To Mainly because this is one of those ones where it's like, it's probably worth anyone interested buying it. So you don't need me to show off much more than that. I think this video's done its job. Circa Infinity, I'm immediately impressed by that. Uh, either way, it's a nice break from the first-person horror games we've been doing, and it's always good to have a game that I play, and I'm like, yep, I'm having a fucking laugh. And look at his little dinkle!